So now that you've run your background, you can now load your sample onto the crystal. Okay, so using the spatula, you're going to want to take a very small amount of the sample. So you want to try and get it as close to the crystal as possible, but if you miss, that's okay. Because um, you can always move it with the spatula. The, the most important thing is that you cover the, the entire crystal, but that you don't touch the crystal with the spatula. So once you're done with that, we're going to close it and wait for the click. Once your sample is all set on the crystal, you will click the collect sample button. A box will pop up and ask you to enter the spectrum title for your sample. An example spectrum title would include your name, the compound being analyzed, the course title, and the day and time of the lab. Another box will pop up asking you to check that the sample is ready. Click OK. From there, the instrument will start taking the 16 scans required for the spectrum. After four to five scans, the spectrum should appear on the screen. Once the scans are complete, a box will pop up asking if you want to add the spectrum to a new window. Make sure to click yes. Now we can analyze our spectrum. Go to the analyze drop-down list and click on find peaks. A horizontal line should appear in the middle of the screen. In order to find peaks and label them for this spectrum, you need to click above the baseline. After that, if there are still some peaks that didn't get labeled, you need to increase the sensitivity of the Find Peaks tool using the bar on the left-hand side. Once all of your desired peaks are labeled, click the Replace button on the top right-hand corner. Now that you're finished analyzing the spectrum, you can print it out to the desired printer by using the File drop-down menu and clicking on Print. Before you exit the software, make sure to save your project to the computer. It should be saved as a .spa file. You can click on the Set File Name to Title button if you want the file name to be the same as the Spectrum title. Now that you're done running your sample, you can turn this knob and make sure that you clean up after you're done. You want to make sure you clean the crystal and get all of the powder off. And then you want to make sure that you clean the bottom of this accessory or else some of the sample will stay on for the next one. Now for the liquid sample, we have to remove the solid sample accessory and put the liquid sample accessory on. To remind you, this is the liquid sample accessory and you just screw it on and make sure it's on there really tight. Now that you have the correct accessory on and everything is all clean, we're going to use a glass pipette and take one drop of the sample and place it on the crystal. Again, making sure that you don't touch the pipette to the crystal. And really, you just need to cover the crystal. Now I'm going to turn the knob down and then make sure you hear it click once. All right. So when you're done with your sample, we're going to clean it again and make sure that it's all set for the next user to use. And then the last thing you're going to do before you leave the room is make sure to sign out.